kindly need them to come and lay your wreath. Yes, the choir kindly keep playing soft music. Yes, children, led by Ophia and other very special and close friends of nice. Yes, Zimbabwe's and the Ugandans and your children, please feel free. Oh, 
And on this note, I recognize the presence of the Registrar General, Masiki Nobishu. Yes, thank you for being with you. Thank you. 
and since then we began this journey of illness together. I've been with him, I've been beside him. He shared a lot with me. One of the things he whispered to me was, my son, I've done a lot for the church, St. Church Rwanda Parish in particular, and other churches everywhere, I mean elsewhere. And so he made this request through me. I think he was part of also one of the children. That on this day, I may use all my two reads, one for my family, and then the other for the And she said also a few speeches, asking him that why he said, Father, Whatever I have done speaks by itself. So he said that many speeches are. Uh, thank you very much, Father Mwanga, together with the sister Christ. Thank you for loving my family. Thank you for the countless sacrifices of mercy. All the times you have been there to pray for that. May God reward you eternally. Love you so big, we are proud of you as a family. I love you, man, our big mama. Man, of Kakusha, you're quite a real lady. She's a woman and a half.
The angels will not disturb you, they will simply open the gates and say, Enter! I just laughed and said, This is the origin, but thank you very much. There are offices at, uh, at Mawanda Road, uh, behind uh, Morocco Hospital, guess who the services priest will approach it. Thank you very much. God bless you and all the rest. Eternal rest grant to him, O Lord. May he rest in peace. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord.
now here present by Barnabas Kakuto. Come along together with my sisters and any other brothers. In case Bruno has already JPD, please come over and give your words of acknowledgement, eulogies. Barnabas. Yes, Moise. Dear fellow mourners, the family, I will not go into protocols because I might not be able to recognize everyone. Uh, this is uh, probably the hardest thing for me to do, but I will try as much as I can. So, uh, as you see us here, we are siblings. I'm the last born of uh, the family. There are others who are not here, but I think we take So, uh, maybe I'll give you, before I say anything, I want to read a message from uh, one of our big brothers. He's uh, in the US. He couldn't make it in time. However, he's on his way. So he sent me a message that I want to read before I can say anything. And uh, it's, uh, it's basically a story about him and uh, his big brother. So it says, uh, greetings to all gathered here today to celebrate the sending off of our beloved one. I would like to apologize and regret for making it in time to join everyone in this trial moment. I know most are sad and yet some are asking why. And none of that, my brother has finished his duties on, on this earth and he has done a good job. I'm glad for him. I'm proud that he is my brother. My brother was a tough nut to crack. He and I had a relationship that many would never understand. I sometimes, mostly back in time, would hate him without realizing that actually that's how I loved him. The time I loved him, at the least when I thought I did, I found out what was always for the wrong and selfish reasons, whether I was aware or not, I always loved him. And uh, subconsciously, we had a strange way of communicating with each other without saying a word. Honestly, those who knew him know what I mean. A lot of times I had to milk the word out of him, but if I caught him with demons on his mind, he would blow away your mind with how much he would say. Whenever I hated him, I much later realized it was because he told me the things I did not want to hear, yet I had to hear them. Life away from 
Life away from him reminded me what a fool I was to have hated him, even at any such a moment. I remember as a toddler when I was following him in the fields to look after the cattle, and if he walked a distance ahead of me, I would cry and would not like him to would not like him for leaving me behind, for I would be afraid something terrible would happen to me. There was a kid at our village named Brandy that used to push me around every chance he got. But my brother one time told me, if I had to follow him, if I had to go with him anywhere, I must be prepared to make sure that this kid Brandy would not push me around anymore. Of course, the result was a nose bleed, but the message said, the message was said. To me, my brother's lesson was to learn to depend on myself. After the seventies, we would walk together and clearly that showed me how much of a life we had. Lastly, I cannot begin to imagine where to start from without one of these conciliatory whispers during which he would advise me on what to do. The last time I was with him in April, he expressed a few things to me and asked me to promise him that I would do. He wanted me to promise him I will re reunite and unite the family. He asked me whether I have noticed a writing on one of his buildings. He believed in family values, although there were many of us that misunderstood him. He asked me why do you think he had to put why do I think he had to put the name uh, sorry why do I think he had to put the name on his building after our grandfather when he has his own name. Clearly he was sending to me a message that family is important. His death, therefore, is a symbolizing unity, and now the task is upon me. So I hereby beg everyone to work with me in the spirit of unity as the Masad's family. I'm still on my way. At the soonest moment possible, I love you all and ask everyone to celebrate instead of feeling sad because my brother has done everything for everyone. So that's the message from uh, the big brother. Uh, before I say something brief, I'll introduce everyone. They will say their names. Preached the gospel of 
love and unity. He preached the gospel of love and unity. I repeat that. He usually said we need each other. Now the question is, what next? My urge to whoever is going to be in his shoes is do not let anyone go astray. Do not let anyone out of your sight. We have to stay together, guys. We are a big family, but we can work this out. We have to stay together. We need each other. That's the only thing I can say for now. Thank you, Barabbas, and your siblings. You've said it all. We are meeting with very few speeches. Now I'm going to invite the grandchildren of the late who don't raise the fat him as Jiba. They'll be led by Conan and other brothers and sisters. Conan and group kindly come over. As Conan comes, Mr. Mukasamuka, Mutaya, Patrick, kindly step out the gate. Many address. Someone is waiting for you there. Yes, Conan.
We love God. We love our family. And to all those who love wrestling as well, because that much is generation to watch. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, grandchildren. As brief as that, spot on and to the point. We appreciate your words of encouragement to us. Thank you very much. On this, at this point in time, I recognize God family together with your wife, uh, Professor. We recognize and acknowledge your presence. May I call my co MC? Uh, Joseph Manji can you come and read to us written messages of condolences. We shall simply summarize them, the origin and what we have given each other. Thank you very much. Thank you, Evans, honors and parishioners. The contents and sentiments expressed in these messages are with one another. They point to Nazis' generosity, love for God, love for family, and hatred for mediocrity. So I would beg your intelligence not to read all of them in their entirety. Before I start, uh, when you read the list of, list of what with, I think some of them have not come. One of them was from La Bordis, I think this French, La Bordis Investment Club from Barclays Bank. This is where Lily and Lucinda worked. And there was also a list from the special friends of the family. They include Jory, Rachel, Florence, Christine, Allen. So they have been added now. Some of the messages briefly from the Uganda Administration Services Bureau, led by Masekino Bishop. So we are saddened to hear the death. This is addressed to the privileged family of late Nancy We are saddened to hear the death of, the death of your family, Kate, the late Nancy father of our colleague, Mrs. Carolyn T. Egesa. It's not easy dealing with movement for anyone, but it's especially difficult when it is someone who lost you. We are sure there is a lot on your minds and hearts that will take time to process. We stand with you in these very sad moments. The board and staff of URSB wish to extend their sincerest condolences to you and your family. Accept our sincere sympathy. It is signed by Masi Kino Bishu. She is grounded in intellectual property matters. This is from the Uganda Law Society. It's also condolence messages. And it also has some verses to read. I will hand over this to the addresses to read the details. But it is signed by Fiona Navasa Hall, the president of the Uganda Law Society. Thank you, the Law Society. This one is from the Wampamanda family, and it is signed by Stephen Tusubi on behalf of the family. And they have enclosed US dollars 1,152. This is a disclaimer that I don't, I'm not carrying those dollars. If someone will deliver them to the dollars to the family. This one is from the office of the LLC to chairman, it's chairperson, I think, in Tinder Parish Court. And the condolence message we have had with great dismay the passing of our colleague and successful entrepreneur, late Nancy Biagaba, has been a long time resident of Ntinda. His vision and contribution helped change the Ntinda Parish landscape and has been an inspiration to many. We convey our, dis our deepest condolences to the family. It is signed by Alan St. Sito Chairman, Ntinda Neighborhood Watch, and they have enclosed 540,000 Uganda shillings, and I'm not carrying that cash. Uh, I hope it's, uh, the right person has it. The family, this is from Kampala Club Limited. The executive committee and members of Kampala Club have learned with great sadness about the demise of Mr. Nancy Aukara. We commiserate with you about this tragedy, and please accept our heartfelt condolences. We pray the Almighty God may be merciful to him and grant him eternal rest. Enclosed herein is one million Uganda shillings, and it is signed by Elliot Ainon Bishop. It sounds like honorary, honorary, I think this is honorary secretary, 
Central to Nigeria. So, city parents school, I don't know who goes there. The brief family of the head, they are governors. We received the shocking news of the passing on of our beloved parent of our pupil, Kaputo, Michael, P7 and P. And our hearts were filled with great sorrow. We pray the Almighty God provides comfort and strength to the family during this very moment. It is signed by Paul Richard Kasada, headmaster. Uh, this one to the Ovia Yarukaba, Ovia and family. Condolence message we have learned with deep sorrow about the death of your beloved husband. We will not be here in this trying moment and we trust you with Mother Mary to be on your side. Hofa, this is Holy Family Association. It has contributed 1,217,000 and it is signed by Gario Edwig. The other name is PA something, Bamuz Gario. This one is from the Rotary Club. This is the Rotary Club of Untina. Okay, condolence message on behalf of the Rotary Club of Untina. We have learned with profound shock the untimely death of your dear husband. This is the rest of here. And Director, no view limited, Mr. Nelson, we have passed on on Wednesday, 27th. Uh, okay, and this one is signed by the President Rotarian Liv N. Pony. Thanks, Rotary Club of Untinda. In a related, there is another Rotary Club of Untinda Metro, and they have been hosted at uh, Northview Hotel for the last five years, and they have also sent their message, and it is signed by Jesse Tirovega. President of the Rotary Club of Montina Metro. This one is from the North Green School and the address to Obia Yarukawa. And we are certain to hear the passing of, of your husband, Nancy Yarukawa. On behalf of the directors, management and staff of the North Green School, we extend our deepest sympathy. And they have enclosed 500,000 shillings. And it is signed by Moses Mayanja Kauma, head of primary North Green School. And finally, uh, no, this one. This one is also a message from Mr. Stephen Musu with the Salon Tonga Kingdom, Pacific Ocean, commiserating with the family. Finally, Dr. S. Mubiru Karege to the family of Nice Yaro Government. Yeah. D. D. S. Mubiru. Okay, D. S. Mubiru Karege. Uh, Mr. Nice has been a dear friend for a very long time. He became family and uh, he became family and he has also been a good father to my son, has been very well governed. And at many occasions, my family and I have frequently visited his home in Nikondo. So, this is sent by Dick Stephen Mubiru Karimi. May his soul rest in eternal peace. Thank you, Joseph, for having a break read those little messages. I wish to sincerely thank and appreciate the staff, the entire staff of No View Hotel. Yes, uh, it's you who do the donkey work. Of course, they, they are your bosses, but you do the donkey work and you have made No View Hotel grow from strength to strength. If you are here, kindly stand up for recognition. Thank you. Beloved, we are bringing only two speeches, and we shall be done from here. Before then, we recognize the presence of Honorable Sarabio Rukundo, the senior parishioner of this parish as well. We are bringing with the speech of the children, and then finally, the widow of the Abiyaruka. May I, at this point in time, invite Lillian Biaruga, Carol Biaruga, Mugaga, and your entire group to come over at once and deliver and speak about your late dad. The church has given us 30 minutes. Uh, you can take 15, and your mother takes the rest. Yes, I've been told to give you ten so that because there is a special song I require in honor of late nights. Thank you.
distinguished um, celebrants. I call you that because we're not mourning, but we are celebrating Nalisa's life. So do not let your hearts be troubled. We all know that hard work and dedication is the way to success, but the path isn't always easy or exactly clear. And that has been the journey of Daddy, an incredible man who fearlessly braved his way from the hills of Kigezi to start the cut blanch of his life in Kampala. God wants us to thrive in different aspects of our lives. He gives us talents, tools, and gifts. And God gave Nalis just that. Everything that Daddy Nalis touched turned to gold. We've heard about his hard work. That those two words were synonymous with his life, practically toiling away. As a businessman, he meant nothing but business. He was humble, full of humility. There is once he had a couple of taxis, and he said, can't <laughs> For one week, and I was like, how are you going to drive and be a taxi tout for five taxis in the same week? But he still did that. During the last COVID lockdown, I, ha I got a phone call and they said, oh, daddy has gone to the village. And I'm like, how did he go? Naja Pika. That Pika took, <laughs> took us to school. And I called him and said, daddy, can that Pika even go to Till Masaka, I said, hey, Johnny, tundra yachi. <laughs> At the hotel, when they had workshops and people are not moving, he's like chop chop peeling the matoke. When they're constructing, he's mixing the machanga. And he was so principled. During the, the war, um, there were soldiers, Tito Okello's soldiers, who tried to take away his beloved 504. And he is like, what am I such? <laughs> Obviously, the soldiers did not understand one word of Uchiga, but he's like, Tinda Bas, a five or four year, did a twala mana issue. And we're all willing, daddy, give them, give them. And he's like, nah, jidan, unga. At gunpoint. And then he made us start the novena, St. Jude, that night, and said, Kupala, gari kem, uchem, but ruti jirikash. So, in his sense, they should just go away. Daddy prayed like everything depended on God. And like they say, work as though everything depends on you. And that is what he did. There was no substitute for hard work. That was true for Nalis. His relationship with God we have already had. And uh, from First Chronicles it says, Pursue the Lord with, his, with your strength and seek his face always. Daddy's unfailing faith kept him grounded and humble, extremely humble. With his pilgrimage to uh, St. Jude Naguru, every March, every June, every October, nine days a week, or oh, nine days for that month, without fail, come rain or shine. The last novena in March, he was unwell, so mommy asked me to give him a ride back because it, it was threatening to rain, and he always went to the back to see Father Kanye, and he said, Bitura man such. I'm walking back. So, that's him. And, um, building churches, he was like Peter, who led the 12 apostles, extending the church here, and among them all, instrumental in churches, um, St. Charles Ranga, St. Jude, Naburu, Chihani Parish and Bubare in uh, Muchahi Kabale and Ivanda as well. He was a very loyal person and um, like they say, don't let loyalty and faithfulness leave you. Bind them around your neck. This is what he did. Write them on the tablet of your heart and then you'll find favor and approval in the eyes of God and humanity. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Don't rely on your own intelligence and know him in all your parts. And this is what Daddy did. 
He revered and loved the Lord. He stood firm, unshakable, many a time struggling like any other human being, and sometimes falling, but he did not labor in vain. Knowing the Lord in all his parts, the Lord kept his way straight and led him to excel in multiple business ventures and establishments. I have not met a man yet that was as wise as daddy. And, um, in the book of James it says, but anyone who needs wisdom should ask God. Those who ask for it in nature, God will give everyone, without a second thought, without keeping score, wisdom will certainly be given to those who ask. And Nalis did ask. Every three o'clock hour, he was seeking wisdom. And as sure as it says in the Bible, the Lord had him and gave him wisdom in abundance. It has been a testament to all the people that he has impacted in his life. And as he lived until the age of 69. We've heard about him being principled. Yes was yes, no was no. There was no two ways about it. There was no black. It was always black and white, no shades of gray. He always told us, I do not sympathize with failures. It was a learning for all of us, his children. When you try to do something, be your absolute best or don't try at all, because he didn't sympathize with failures. He always walked on the straight and narrow, and when he said, we're gonna do this, we had to do it. When we were much younger, he said, you've got to be neat. He was always walking, but he was smart. So, if you remember the metallic hot combs with a wooden handle, every weekend, he would pull style into a tight puff and said Haza until next week Kent. So you have to keep your hair neat otherwise the hot comb was out midweek and you didn't want that. We have asserted his um, charitable ways and um, it started with us at home as his children like they say charity begins at home. There's a time there was no baby formula in the whole of Uganda and daddy drove to Busia across the border and came back that very same day to bring baby formula back for his baby then, which was me. <laughs> so what cannot capture how we will miss your insightfulness spirit daddy? But to paraphrase Robert Frost, you took the road less traveled and that has made all the difference. You taught us all something new, and it changed us forever. We welcome you all to continue joining us on this journey, and we thank you. Again, I assure you that if two of you agree on earth about anything you ask, then my Father in heaven will do it for you. For where two or three are gathered in my name, I'm there with them. And the Lord is here with us, and will journey with us to Evander, with all the celebrants that will come and join us. You have stood with us in this time of profound sorrow, but we celebrate uh, Daddy's life and the impact of his life on his family, his business fraternity, friends, community, and Daddy, we celebrate you. We are awfully proud of you, and we are proud to be your children. If there ever comes a day when we can't be together, which is like now, physically, Keep me in your heart and I'll stay there forever. Daddy will always be in our hearts. I would like my siblings to introduce themselves, but before they do that, maybe they will start with introducing themselves. Uh, my name is Mugaga De Deo De Mugaga. My name is Caroline Agesa. My name is Rebecca Catherine Joy. My name is Mika Nelel. My name is Kaputu Michael Rebecca. My name is Paul Angela Gabriela. My name is Marcy Teresa Rebecca. Thank you. We are all here to uh, say farewell to uh, Z.
Zain Alice, and we would like to know what happened. Why is he not sitting in the pews, but lying there? And uh, I would not do it justice because there is somebody that took the most fast and furious adult education in clinical medicine in one month that would do that justice, uh, my sister Carol. Thank you uh, very much, Vivian. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to speak about Daddy's medical journey because most of you were saying that you were not even aware that Daddy was sick. Why she said uh, I took the quick lessons is because I was really at the head of Daddy's clinical journey, his illness, and I know everything. So about mid-March, that's when uh, Daddy started feeling unwell, <coughs> consulted his doctor. His doctor referred him to a few other doctors. And uh, it was discovered that uh, Daddy was suffering from stomach cancer. People like to call it a silent killer. And that is what it is. From day one, we gave Daddy the best that we knew how. We took care of him, we consulted the best doctors, we worked with Daddy, and for me, I'm very happy about that. Daddy was not in pain, he was just uncomfortable. We did everything we could. Whenever Daddy went to the hospital, all of us were literally there. I think some of the doctors were wondering how can one person come with all these people for even a simple consultation. But we walked the journey with Daddy. He deteriorated but we kept the faith and I always believe that this is season for everything. This is Daddy's season to go and I give God thanks for that. As I said, we looked after him. We gave time, and it's at this juncture that I would like to say thank you, a genuine thank you to all the professionals that were there for Daddy. I would like to give a special thanks to Dr. Abraham Samudin. He was a godsend. He was there. He was there. I would like to thank the staff of Three Rivers Cancer Center, who are always there for us. I would like to thank Dr. Hugo for always offering consult as far as Daddy was concerned. I would like to thank our family doctor, Dr. Eliarimpa. Thank you so much for having Daddy because you're also his friend. I would like to thank Kampala Hospital and special thanks goes to a lady called Rose Joki. I don't know Rose if you're here. There is Rose. God sent you people. Thank you, Rose.
dad was not an easy man, and when you're sick, it even becomes harder. But he was there for dad. So thank you, Chris. I appreciate you. And the family appreciates you. So that was dad's journey. And I was with daddy literally up to the end. We were with him, surrounding him. He breathed his last, and I was there holding his hand. So daddy never lacked for love. It wasn't the doctors surrounding him. It wasn't machines surrounding him. It was his family. His loved ones were there surrounding him. So he's in a better place. Rest in peace, Daddy. I love you, Daddy. Thank <laughs> you. 
thank you all for being with us. And please join us till the end to give that proper send off. Thank you. I would like to introduce Daddy had sons in law who he loved and I would like for them to stand up. Dr. Egesa, Alpha Kenya, there he is, and uh, Samson. Yes, those are Daddy's other sons. Thank you. Thank you, girls. I didn't know Gideon was a woman of humor. Her speech and words speak, spoke volumes. Thank you, I appreciate, and the congregation has highly appreciated the speeches. Thank you very much. We are now remaining with one and final speech of Antofia. But before then, we'd like the choir uh, to play for us a song that we have chosen to play. Then after off here, I'm going to take you through uh, through the program of other remaining processes and uh, distances. Thank you, choir. Please. Thank you so much for this opportunity. When you open our booklets on page nine, there is a post communion here. Page now was written by Libby Allen on the foundation of uh, St. Paul's letter to Timothy when he was writing about his last days that he has fought a good fight and he has won the race. That's the hymn I'm going to take us through. So you can follow as I am singing. I'm sorry that I left you I know you feel alone God told me that he needed me He called me to come home And what seemed to be an instant In the twinkling of a night An angel gently took my hand and led me to the sky. As I ascended into the bed, beyond the valley gates, the angels were rejoicing, then I saw his radiant face. God's eyes shone down upon me from the glory of his throne. He said, Enter into paradise, cause events now your my fault have I finish my race throughout the trial. Seven 
angels now are able to fly with the angels and fly with the angels because angels now are able to fly with the angels and fly
Jenny Papashetti's my name. I'm a baby sister of Mrs. Papa. Uh, Jess Katriyamawe is my name. Uh, Ophia is my auntie. She's my sister. She normally says that we married Hakaro. I still see my water. And I don't know what else. My giver was at her place. My graduation was at her place. She's her and Nels have been a pillar to us. I am Mrs. Mirren. My husband was the first chairman of the church, the first church there. Me and Ovia and the wives of the other two pioneers. Part and parcel of that church is to even do the bricks. And the French were so long, and the car was going further. I can't even remember how long we've been friends. I'm usually uh, the parcel of many words. Once again, my name is Abuja Yaglava. I did not talk after when my girls have talked. You know, the Magunga girls. I joined the Magunga girls, and uh, most of their friends are here. They've been part of our family, and uh, they found me a bit half corporate. But after my girls came corporate, I became corporate. And I made sure Mr. Yankawa became corporate. <laughs> I met Mr. Yankawa in 1977. We did it for a year. And I believe why? Because I come from a very strong Muslim Christian family, and he was from a strong Catholic family. On this note, allow me to thank my late mother-in-law who instilled the gift of faith to his son, Nalis. This woman, going at his home, after six, would be wrong. Because after six, Nagana Shulesa Puriye, so family of the people of God. I don't know if I can start to talk about nice. Because nice has been my blood husband, and when I told you we met in 1977, I think he was asking, how can I take this protestant girl? And then I asked myself, how do I get married to a Catholic? How? Because my parents were married officially, they were mother's union, but God made it well. We wedded in 1978, 16th December, at Mia Church, and the rest was history. The best first gift Mr. Diallo gave me was in 1981. He gave me a ticket to go to Rome and study Catholics. Catholics. He said, is there a school in Rome? In Kovachi, really, Kovachi school to us. It was my first flight to go to Rome. And what I saw there is what I've been trying to do in the Catholic Church. This. He has been my best friend, my husband, my drinking mate, <laughs> my business partner, because he found me working and after stay.
areas, I had to resign and join him to do business. Business at that time was we yeah. I joined him, we pulled our voices, our brains together, and I personally, I happen to up today to know most prominent Ugandans because of the businesses we've been doing. Ask me why. Nurse to be told that our daughter said we were transporters at one time and you know what transport is. Traffic has not been transport today. Traffic has been transport. Yes. Then nurse will say you will go. He said why? Me if I go there, I'm going to box them. <laughs> so we've been doing business together. Uh, allow me to thank you guys for being there. For me. As a family, you know, sometimes we don't go well. I want to thank him. Since 1980, we've been living in Indinda. And Nagis had never reported at any police station. That means a bit tricky as a businessman. Because business people are always with quarrels, issues, this and that. But Nagis had never been in prison, had never been at the police station. In fact, at no view, I've been telling people. Nuris has a name to protect in Indina. And I've been there telling people that we can't let Nuris go because I know what it has been. As the churches have said, most of them, once I've been saying, I don't know that, allow me to thank each and everybody that has come here. Allow me to church to thank my in laws. Allow me to thank the Indina community. Because since 1980, we don't have any issues with the people of Tinder. I want to thank the people from St. Luke, I know they are here, and I want to thank everybody that has been there with us to see. Finally, finally, I want to thank the family members and ask the family members to do what Nancy would have loved to do. Nancy has been a man of few words. I have been almost his spokesman. <laughs> and if I say no, he will say yes. If he says no, I will say no. So we shall be promised to get with everybody here. This has been some things, has been some things for us to do. And we hope we shall continue. I want to thank the church. The church has been there for us. We want some of the priests from Kavari that have been visiting us. I have heard many words, but allow me to stop here because church was not a mass. But thank you to everybody. May God bless you. Thank you, Ovia, okay, my daughter the team that has accompanied you. I was impressed by her posthumous recognition of her mother-in-law for having instilled Catholic Christian Catholic values in her. You have heard for yourselves. She has posthumously appreciated her. Thank you very much. We are winding up now. Allow me at this juncture to take you through our program of the burial proceedings hereafter up to even When we exit with a casket, we shall not, we may not have time to view the body. I doubt if we may have time outside there. But when we reach outside and time allows, we shall do that. Now, from here we will drive straight to Iwanda. You approach Iwanda, Kampala, Masaka, the Antonde, Mbarara, 
then even you mark those places. Kampala, Masaka, Nyatonde, Mbarara, then even. When you reach Mbarara, you drive 40 kilometers to the burial place, just 40 kilometers to the burial place. It is clearly known. And where you turn, there's a side post, no close. You cannot miss it. You will get your Google map and you will reach there. Go via the popular known Kaputa Road. That one is Kampala, Masaka, the Antonde. Then you turn on the right, you take Kaputa Road. You drive 100 kilometers from the junction of Kaputa Road to Iwanda. From Iwanda, you drive further along Barara Road for 10 kilometers only, you reach the burial place. Now we still continue to appeal to you if you have come with finances, kindly uh, approach Dr. Edessa. Outside, we are trying to arrange a poster. We are dealing with the accountant of this uh, church, parish, called Maureen. Maureen, when we exist, kindly come to us and we handle that subject. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. You have come in large numbers. We have honored Nurse Atari and the family. It is appreciated and they are energized and encouraged. Please keep it up even hereafter. As George said, those 30 Gregorian masses are already on the line to offer the same. Thank you very much. Although I'm a senior minister in the Church of Uganda Communion, but I do all. Thank you very much for listening to us. Well, thank you very much, Evans Matama, for that wonderful work. Thank you, the family, friends, relatives, for being brief. Uh, before the first round is call, I'd like to recognize the presence of Sister Mary Margaret Birunji, the retired lines of the Blessed Sacrament Lord. We also have Reverend Patrick Edward Sigosi from St. Luke and UJCC. Just to add on, if you want to join the, the transport arrangement of the parish, of the parish St. Charles our office is down there in Uganda, with 15,000 only, 15,000 shillings only. Uh, the, the cost of building at 5.30 a.m. tomorrow morning. So you can register at the parish for that. Thank you very much. I would like to invite the parish priest for the final ones. Yes, yes. 
and uh, there is a man of no sense. And uh, thank you so much, the family of here and the family who live in the church. Normally, I will call Oviana Nunes. You know, for me, she knows the name I for her. She's the queen of Nobuvio. And uh, I will ask her, how is the king of Nobuvio? No I will go to the queen and ask her, now your friend is gone, but take heart. We shall return together. We thank the family for the contribution, for the uh, support. The Karori Towers that we going to put place for Team Mrs. Chazimanga. And uh, we are going to put up a very beautiful building here yeah. in front of Captain Shoulders. Uh, for it's a commercial building for to support this place and uh, the work in Tina. And as I heard it being mentioned, uh, it was the will and the will of the United States government. You're going to it in 20 million, you get your will. This is the first family to contribute towards that. And uh, I think Chief, the chairman of the is around. When that building is completed, you have to name one of the homes at least. Let's see that. I'm proposing, I'm proposing to our council, and I think it would be nice. This man and this family have done a lot for our parish. They have loved the parish. Even if they, many times when people die, they want to come home. But now they are giving to the church. God, God is everything. Come a big yo. So, great you. Another big clap of hands. One thing the leaders of the community of Montinda, and all that, and you know we have lost it here in the community. It also gives us something to learn today as leaders uh, who are here and I know you are here. You can see that we need to work together so that when in, 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 in a situation like this, they support nature also and get the people where I'm supposing still barred from entering and back in the football field pitch would have been in problems, is it? Is it? What about it from there? I wonder if we now have a message for the team, for the one, for the good of our community. It would be great to work together. Thank you to the choir. Uh, these are your patrons and the you will sacrifice your time today to be a leader to admit the same. Thank you so much. The committee that has organized this celebration, thank you so much. It's been ordinary, very nice. Thank you. I love this. I love this. I love it. Thank you so much. Um, I wish to thank, of course, many doctors have been thanked, but also thank Dr. Nisimba. Thank you so much. You talked and you guided me. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for all this for the family. We've been praying for Nalis, but also thank Canon Sandra. I think she's in the village, right? She's in the village. We've been talking and praying together and uh, trying to share and understand how to support the family spiritually and in all ways. We give a big clap of hands to that. Canon Sandra. And uh, the families, the Nuns has left many families for sure. Uh, the the Miss Grom Bishop has had to, to lodge up with the family for a number of months when they were starting and many others. We really appreciate The founders of this place, many of them, some have gone before us, even the son last week we buried uh, Dorothy Ayokanga. So many of them have gone, like Kara and me. Others are sick, like Manse, Nina Manse. I've seen Kirak around. I've seen many others around. Let us give a big clap of hands to these people who have a very good vision for 
Virginia, we are here because many and many others they continue us, they did a lot, a lot to secure this place for the Catholic Church. I wish to also thank, I think, I saw the parish of the, 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 the pastor of the parish, Sarah Christo, Tiarashia Marinikwako, particularly David Nakuru, the Saint Jude Devotion, who are in here. Thank you so much for being here with us. And we continue to know, of course, we know that that sent you so much and she wanted you to support. He was such a fearless and risky taker. Everything he, he did turned into gold. You can't say that. Like that. Everything he touched turned into gold. And that was he. Thank you so much. And you have a child now. As I said, <laughs> one soul of your children and family. Eh? Whatever it touch also uh, turns into gold. But with the prayer, everything is possible. Amen? Yes. That you have taken several rooms in Chimani. And we have moved it together. I've been to Ivan, that, that big hotel. I've been to where? You know that. So, uh, we, have to, we have to move on. And for him, everything starts with prayer and trust in God. So, we pray that all of you may. Is a journey to the place of the burial and that God may bless you. Keep nice souls in your mind, in your heart. He loved us, we must love him also and want to love him until the end. Okay? But also let us persevere in the end that one day we shall meet him in heaven. Amen. That is our hope. This will be a fair. Do you know what we can say? Guru. Scaring and reaching you. Our family. And then it is a family. I've, I've had many weddings from this family. One of us over here, and then so forth. I didn't have a lot of money. I'm going to have to pay for it. I'm not going to have money. 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 Okay? We did, and we have to move on. We have to pray together. We have to pray together. We have to make sure everything goes on well. The business community, thank you so much, Chairman Wagarana uh, Group. You know, Kerezia, the team here, 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 George has talked about the Gregorian Masses, very important. And when you give Gregorian Masses, it is a commitment to the priest that you give to Gregorian what? Masses. And, you, and it has to be very clear and particular. He has to make sure he does it, it's a communication. So, Bobonua, a Mr. Sivakurangule, not by Mass, but you give a thanksgiving to God, to Mukama. So you give from the depth of your heart. It is okay, but you are testing the, the priest. You are testing the what? At least. Every day for 30 masses would be the big man. Thanksgiving. So to what I have no, it is a commitment and from the heart. That is just to let you know. Because the Korean masses is not a job and uh, it goes with commitment, real commitment, but gives for the deceased. Amen. Now, please stand. Uh, can you say to someone next to you, please thank you so much for being patient and for praying for us. Okay. Secondly, you will have your precious items with you. The phones, the bags, and everything. Do you have them? Yes. At occasions like this, there are some people who are going to be on our one day. 
So make sure you have your items with you and don't leave them in the chat because we shall be troubled also when we leave them behind. Uh, I shall invite the Christian to come to pray and bring you here. Yeah. Thank you so much for organizing this very well. And uh, yes, after here, you'll be the ones to lead the procession outside, okay? And then the priests and the, the family members that should be singing, and then the rest of us. And Alice, God be with you till we meet again. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Hey, Holy Queen.
William Kashevu family represented by the senior brother of here, Lady Kanyon Katunji Abu. He traveled all the way from Castle to come and be with us. Thank you, thank you, Abu, Kanyon Abu. The Matama family, which I represent myself together with the rest of us, is there.